Armstrong and Hey Armstrong and Getty Show. We're running late, but we need to get to Sabrina Sabah, friend of the Armstrong and Getty Show, recently retired from her gig reporting on moronic celebrities and their moronic carryings on. And what bad timing, what with the breakup with Gwyneth Paltrow and whoever that numb nuts was she was married to. <laughs> Gotta be disappointing to you, Sabrina. It really is. I'm so sad that I couldn't include um, her conscious uncoupling. That was kind of the same thing with my last job. It was a conscious <laughs> uncoupling as well. Um it's just one of those things that she just continues to make everyone feel like they're less than, right? Like nothing she does makes you feel like she's a normal human. Well, she's better than you and better than us and better than everyone. But we have a fairly limited time. Really like to hear your senior will to celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is something that I just figured I'm not going to be covering celebrity news anymore. And I just wanted people to know how I felt specifically the celebrities, you know, to Lindsay Lohan. I, you know, I said that she needs, she needs to, to stay out of jail and, and get her parents out of her life, specifically to her parents, just to really go away. And if they have room in their suitcase, please take Justin Bieber with them. <laughs> um, to Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, that poor, sweet girl who actually went to rehab, not for drugs or alcohol, you no, know, because she's actually addicted to this child bride, Justin Bieber. It's, it's terrifying. So he needs to leave her alone. Um, and Amanda Bynes, poor thing. I mean, you know, she actually does have mental health issues, which is unfortunate. But then how about her parents not pretend like she's a self-sufficient adult and actually, like, get involved and not let her wander the streets of Los Angeles setting fires in people's driveways? Would that be, <laughs> would that be a good plan? This is great. <laughs> what Sabrina would have said all along. Go on. You know, well, Charlie Sheen, I really feel like this is just the worst breakup of all time. I mean, worse than Gwyneth and, and Chris. I feel like Charlie's breakup with the Internet will forever ruin, you know, my, my view on things. The memes are not the same. You know, the videos aren't the same. The winning, the tiger blood, the Adonis DNA. I mean, but you really cannot live up to that. And my whole next transition of my goal in life was to become one of those girls who, like, lived at his house. And, you know, I can't do that. And I'm like, I'm so sad because that was going to be my transition. I was going to go from, you know, Fox News reporter to either, you know, Playboy or living at Charlie Sheen's house. And so neither of those things are going to happen. One of those girls that lives at his house and you're kind of his girlfriend with some other girl at the same time. And yeah, yeah, nice situation. You know what? So much less work. Right. Because if you're like the second or third girl, like, really, it's just all the perks and, like, well, it, it frees you up to be able to make not so classy porn too. <laughs> sure, yes, which is really my niche market. I don't know if you. What else, you know my that. dear? Um, yeah, you know. Well, the main thing I want to say is is OJ Simpson, and a lot of people don't know this, but he actually is responsible for my big break. No um, kidding. Not yeah, you know, not one of the trials, not like the stab stab one, but like the steely one. Where he um, <laughs> the steely you know, one, not the beheady one, <laughs> not, the, not the stabby one, not the stabby one. Um, but he was in Las Vegas and was you know trying to take back some memorabilia taken from him. I was a reporter in Las Vegas at the time, and I was the first one on the scene at the Palace Station when all of this went down. So I was like on the record with Brett of Ancestor, and I was on Hannity. I was on all these shows. Um, Nancy Grace, which I still have nightmares about Nancy Grace. Oh, she's, she's like something, the most isn't terrifying she? Terrifying woman. Oh. She's so terrifying. I don't even. And she has children. I found out. I mean, what must oh. their nightmares be like? So <laughs> oh my she, God, that's a catty thing to say. <laughs> no, come on. How no, many I'm careers has OJ launched? It's unbelievable. Yeah. All right, we've, we're, um, we're run, rapidly running out of time. Do I understand correctly? You have a bequeath for Whit, uh, Britney Spears. Uh, you know, just just the underwear thing. <laughs> this is the six pack of panties. If just, yeah, if you could just get some. I mean, Hanes, they come in they come in packs. It's really really easy. Fantastic. Really easy to do. <laughs> but anyway, people can check out my vlog and follow me along my little journey. And your listeners are the best because they actually asked if I had like a Kickstarter or one of those types of funds. So I set up a little. PayPal plug in if people want to buy me a drink along the way, they can wow. feel free. Wow. Well, and, and, and in return, if you ever have anything really snarky to say, uh, please do pass it along. And we'll uh, we'll have a link to your stuff from our stuff and so people can find you. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. All right. Thanks, Sabrina. We'll talk to you later. That's a funny line. I got my start with the OJ trial. Not the stabby one, the steely one. <laughs> <laughs> 
hilarious. You're listening to the Armstrong and Getty Show. 